The first month almost passed, so let's take a look at everything Witcher related that happened or released in the past month. Let's start things off on the CDPR side of the Witcher world. In Gwent, the Regis journey is coming to an end, with the story finishing a few weeks ago. Presumably in February there will be a new start of a journey, focusing on another character or event. Next month will also mark the end of the Gwent card art contest. The contest started on the 8th of November 2021 and will come to an end on February the 8th. Plenty of artists have already made card art for the contest, and in the upcoming month they will decide on the winner. Previous winners and runner-ups from the 2018 art challenge have had some of their card arts turned into cards in the actual game, like the Owl God and Lydia van Bredevoort cards. In The Witcher Monster Slayer, the location-based mobile monster killing game, there have been two additional monsters added in the past month. Those being the Were-Rat Warrior, a common monster that shares its attack with the Were-Rat, and the Vizimian Archospore, a rare monster with new attacks different from the standard Archospore. On another note, CDPR has finally added a medallion of the School of the Cats to their store, so if you prefer the Cat School over the Wolf School, you might want to get that one. On the CDPR Dark Horse side of the Witcher comics, there hasn't happened anything in the past month. It is a downtime between the last comic series they released, The Witch's Lament, and the upcoming comic adaptation of Grain of Truth story from The Last Wish, which is supposed to arrive in April. The Witcher board game Witcher Old World, which had a Kickstarter campaign last year, has updated the current status of the project. According to their schedule, they are finishing up the pre-production process at the factory, and they hope to have everything finished by September to start shipping it to those who bought the game around the end of the year. The Witcher Ronin comic, which also had a Kickstarter campaign last year, will be shipping out very soon, with an update on their Kickstarter campaign page requesting that everyone who ordered the project confirm that their shipping address is the right one. The first copies will arrive in the second half of February, according to their current estimations. To finish off the game side of the news, I have to mention that the game studio, Molasses Flood, is hiring developers, including procedural level designers. It is said to be for an upcoming project set in one of GDPR's IPs, which means it will be either with The Witcher or Cyberpunk. While I don't think this is for a main game, it could be a project on the side, similar to how Thronebreaker was a Witcher game. As of now, we have no information on if they are working on something Witcher related, but it might be worth keeping an eye out for any new information about their upcoming project. Switching over to the Netflix side of The Witcher, Season 2 has reportedly been watched for more than 2 billion minutes in the first week. And with the success that the series has on the streaming service, there are reports that Season 4 might already be in the early stages. As for Season 3, filming is supposed to start somewhere in March, which would mean that any release date for the show is probably a year away from now at the very least. In the meantime, you can still look forward to Witcher Blood Origin, a prequel series is set 1200 years before the series. It is said that Yaskir will appear in the show as a kind of narrator telling a part of the story, before an elf takes over. I have my issues with this spin-off, but that's mainly because Netflix throws everything established in the books, when looking at the timeline out the window once again. The series is set to feature the conjunction of the spheres, which happens 200 to 300 years before when a show is supposed to take place. Also, it is said to feature the first version of Witchers, which were not created until around 300 years before the current town of books, and the same thing was even said in The Witcher Season 2. And the last piece of news I thought was worth mentioning is that cartographers from the University of Warsaw have made a map of The Witcher world based on the books and games, and it's interesting to look at. This could possibly be one of the most accurate maps we have till date. There is plenty of Witcher stuff still to come this year, with one of the biggest being The Witcher 3's next-gen patch a free update to the game coming in the second quarter of the year. Is there anything that I missed? Let me know in the comments. Until the next video. Bye.